Chris Brown is currently entangled in a rather significant legal predicament due to the unsuccessful business endeavor he pursued in attempting to acquire a Popeye's chicken franchise. According to legal records initially disclosed by The Blast, City National Bank is initiating a lawsuit against Chris, among others, concerning a loan extended to them for the purchase of two fast food establishments. Within the lawsuit, the bank alleges that it provided Brown and several others, including Randy B. Singer The Dream, with a $2 million loan, with the stated purpose of using the proceeds to make investments in two Popeye's restaurants. Chris Brown and The Dream are members of an investment consortium that acquired a stake in the company. According to the bank's claims, they provided Chris and his associates with the funds in 2018 and subsequently sought repayment several years later. The bank asserts as of February 17, 2023, the borrower and guarantors collectively owe $2,140,901.74 in outstanding principal and interest. Chris made several errors, most notably the bank alleges that he is a personal guarantor of the loan and is currently responsible for the debt. Chris Brown has previous experience in the fast food chain industry. The artist possesses 14 Burger King establishments located in Virginia, his home state where he was born and raised. But don't sympathize too much for Chris. Sources conducted a brief Google search, revealing that his net worth is estimated to range from $50 million to $150 million, varying depending on the source. It remains uncertain whether City National Bank is pursuing legal action against the dream regarding his purported portion of the loan. Nevertheless, the lawsuit identifies Brown as a personal guarantor, implying his responsibility for the outstanding loan balance. In the interim, City National Bank, which has been striving to recover its funds from Brown since 2018, has already secured a default judgment against the singer in Georgia. Consequently, a new motion has been initiated as a collection lawsuit in Los Angeles, with the bank asserting that he owes a sum of $1,314,367.40. Like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.